This video is brought to you by Gunplay SA, South Africa's favorite place for gunpla, related tools, supplies, resources, community, and so much more. Check out gunplaysa.com. Hey, Build Force, it's time for a resupply and an unboxing. And as we told you before, it's gonna be a big one. We got like a lot of boxes in, we got a lot of crazy stuff that's happening. And usually we like to keep uh, things pretty cool. We like to build up to the big thing. We like to do a huge build up. But this time we're gonna just go straight for the goodies, okay? So follow me and let's try not to get too much of that stuff shown. And check out this box. What could be in this box? Are they perfect grades? Is there a PG Unleashed RX-78 Gundam in there? Well, let's find out. <laughs> it's Jeff Day! Jeff, Jeff has come. <laughs> Jeff has come. <laughs> there, there you go, Natas, you fulfilled your wish eh? after one year. <laughs> so, that happened. A happy birthday to you. <laughs> and as you guys can see, it's a one-to-one -one perfect grade Jeff. It was released in 1986. Six, yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah, so now we got it. <coughs> By the way, if you guys sorry. didn't pre-order then, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> already taken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, Cassie totally, already pre-ordered. You totally missed it. Yeah. <laughs> and you totally missed the original unboxing, which <laughs> from what I understand was quite insane. So, yeah. um, let's and, get in, into Speaking about birthdays, so you know, we're going to give them, uh, doing a little bit of giveaway. So obviously, you know, this sticker was debuted at Comic Con in Cape Town, so I can't obviously we have some left. Did you keep it well, like a stash? Yeah, well, I kept the reserve, you know. Oh, so okay. for the people in the build force have reserve orders, you know, there you go, you'll get one. Yeah. Cool. So in the spirit of giving. Cool. Yay! Okay, cool. cool. Let's check it out. So we got a nice little box of resupply yeah. of ninja airbrushes. So shout out to Supernova, Supernova. You guys yeah. are so sexy, we love you and thank you for mm. having this awesome airbrush. For mm -hmm. people to get started with airbrushing, exactly. In. We yeah, love Iwata, yeah. we love the Procon boys, we love all that good stuff, but you know what? You gotta start somewhere. Oh no! <laughs> and we are Plus right back okay, with so electricity! <laughs> yeah. Co yeah. yeah. Agan, give these people some air! <laughs> okay, so if you guys wanna breathe and have healthy lungs, if you um, wanna cosplay a scorpion, if you wanna cosplay a scorpion, mm. uh, or Cabal, mm. uh, we do suggest that you get one of these masks. In fact, it's not even a suggestion, this is an insistence. Mm. You need to get one of these masks, okay, if you're going to airbrush. Yeah. Um, because airbrush fumes <coughs> are quite dangerous for you. Uh, whether it, even, even the acrylic stuff, mm. like the, the Vallejo stuff is safer. Mm -hmm. The Vallejo stuff is safer to spray, but the thinner is still not really good yeah. to breathe so in. Guys, so guys, you can cheap out on, on like other tools, but when it comes to your health, you don't know, cheap, cheap out. Yeah. The guys, and I mean this, like, like, because uh, we've been there. Yeah, we've yeah. been there, and I also I have a family member mm. who has, you know, from working in a certain place. Mm. I don't want to name things. Or whatever. So if you guys have pets around, you know, just so is, you're not just protecting yourself as well. Well, yeah, get one for your pet. <laughs> yeah, like mm -hmm. put them on the mask. Hey, anyway, Snoopy is all like woofing, woofing, woofing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so, guys. If you are working on your like airbrushing and stuff, so maybe just like isolate yourself. You know, close the room. Nobody comes in here and just, you know, breathing the excess. Yeah. Oh, when we yeah. say isolate, we mean keep the windows open. Yeah. That too. Just uh, that too. keep yourself away from human beings. Yeah. Uh, this is scary. Why is it looking like that? Uh, I think no, that's, that's just, just packaging. Yeah. yeah, that's normal. Yeah, yeah we yeah. got more airbrush cleaner from Vallejo. Mm -hmm. um, guys, you know what this is for? It's for cleaning your airbrush if you spray with Vallejo colors. Mm -hmm. so that's uh, really, really fun. Um, I, I actually like using the airbrush cleaner as a special, a magical eraser for when I make mistakes because it doesn't affect lacquer paint. So if I do um, acrylic weathering and, and stuff on a kit, I can <coughs> use a little bit of that to fix my mistakes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. And then airbrush flow improver. Um, this is magical source for airbrushing. Mm. Uh, I find that I need it. Uh, I need it quite a lot. I often use this instead of thinners sometimes with mm. certain colors. But you got to find your own mix and yeah. find what works for you. Yeah. So like personally, like I do one drop of uh, airbrush thinner, which we do have as well and one um, drop of uh, flow improver with 10 drops of mecha color paint. Yeah, and mm. you, yeah, and that's a yeah. pretty good. And then here's the airbrush thinner, which, mm -hmm. yeah. Guys, um, if you don't want to use flow improver or if you want something to mix with your flow improver, airbrush thinner is the way to go. This stuff's awesome and you can also use it to yes. thin 
quite a few different types of acrylic paints, eh? Mm. So it's not just a, a Vallejo, you can use it for Army Painter, you can yeah. use it for yeah, they're, they're all pretty much AK, like much the it's all pretty much yeah. the same thing, mm. yeah. Okay. However, this will actually mess up acrylic, Tamiya acrylic, eh? Just a mm. warning. Cool. Not like, good to know. Not good to know. Not like, anyway, so... We yeah, got that out of the way. Yeah. Now we get into the fun model kit so stuff. Hey. Sleeps and yeah. so, so Yeah. So you, you love your initial D. Yeah. Initial you love D. your cars, you know, your JDMs. Yeah? I love my JDM cars, my, my tuner cars, not my tuner cars. Um, so we so all, they're all the same. They, 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 <laughs> but they, you see, to those of us that matter, you know, <laughs> no, to the fans, um, there are differences and there are enough differences. And this is what I want to quickly show you guys. So these come in three different flavors. We got the late version of the of the Hachiroko, yeah, so which has got is like the volume one. That's volume one. Is this chapter thirty seven or volume? 37? I think it's volume thirty seven. It's like quite sure. far at the end, um, well, far of the first sort of series. Mm -hmm. And you can see here, it's got the darkened hood. Mm -hmm. It's got a roll cage. This is the final car that um, upgraded that that gets used in the show. Yeah. So that one's cool. But then you get these two, and these two are really fun. This one, for example, has got a figure and an engine, oh. which is really, really cool. So if you guys want to display your Hachiroko or whatever with the hood up, you can with this one because it's actually got different hoods and it's got the engine in it and it's got the driver. So you can actually have, um, I love it. This always <laughs> happens to me. Uh, so you can display Takumi. So you also car. get tofus in them. You actually, and you get the cup. <laughs> oh, you, but yeah, you do get the cup holder inside, which is pretty okay. rad. And yeah, and then this one is just the engine, no driver. And that's if you just want to display it un, you know, unmanned and somebody's working on it in the garage. Anyway, these are really fantastic kits. Our Oshima does great car kits. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to lie, they're not Tamiya, but they have something to them that's equally special. And they're really easy builds hmm. as well. Well, yeah, you're going to need to paint a little bit. Anyway, you get all the decals you need for the Fujiwara Tofu Shop and for the plates and all that good stuff. They even give you masking for the windows. So good times. Then you can also get the FD. So who is this guy? Is this he is Case Key. Is he a rival? rival? Yeah, this is a rival. This is the, the first rival that you meet in the manga and in the anime. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and, and he's part of the Red Suns. And so I, I'm gonna guess, is this like the final form and this one comes with a figure? Okay, so I think, yeah, this is the one of the figure and this, I think this is the final form. Because it's also got the black. Black hood. <laughs> I can never remember, I hate it like with the show, I can never remember if the black hood that's the final form, but I think it is the final form of the, of the FD. But yeah, this one's got the driver. I, I need to double check, I think this one's also got the engine as well. <laughs> I think, yeah. And then we just got the normal. And then, so you guys can sort of have a, a, a look inside. So as you can see, not as classy as Bandai with how they pack stuff inside, but that is fine because you get these awesome rims. You get the shell, it's complete. You just need to put on the front grills. Uh, these do, I've built one of their cars without glue before, although I do recommend you have glue, okay? Mm. And you get some nice chrome parts if you care about that kind of thing. Yeah, Lots but I, th fun. I think painters are gonna like strip the chrome, yeah? Yeah, yeah paint totally. their I, would, I would strip the chrome. Um, and if you guys want some great tutorials on building these cars, check out a guy <laughs> called Jun's Garage. But now we're gonna get into some anime. Ooh, this yeah. one I know. I grew up with this anime. What's well, it? Cyber Formula. Cyber Formula. Yeah. It's also animated by Sunrise, who, who yes. animates uh, Gundam. And some of the designs, actually, uh, this car um, was actually designed by Shoji Kawamori. Uh, who's Shoji Kawamori, Paul? Oh, he's just the guy who designed the Valkyries from Macross, directed Macross Plus, directed Macross 7, designed a whole bunch of stuff for Armored Core. Oh, and also directed a ton of, uh, designed a few Gundam kits, uh, the Gundam <laughs> machines, notably GP01 and GP03. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So, very, very cool design. Now, now look, at, look at this. This is so spacey. And you can definitely see a lot of that design language in here. This, this car feels like the car version of a Gundam, mm. in my opinion. And look at this rubber tires. Uh, rubber tires, we've got some chrome parts. Jeff and I don't care about that, but other people who don't want to paint will love that. Some color separation. Mm. This is actually very cool. And look how, how much plastic is in here, guys. It's insane. Plus, sorry about that. I really should have put that on silent. I'm so professional today. Um, you got the painting guide, full color painting guide, nice. which is always appreciated. Oh, and look at those. Wow. Sugoi. <laughs> so much water slide. Yeah, yeah it's that's water, water slide. slide. Yeah. yeah. And you can what? also do. Yeah. Where do you put that? That you can put on the stand, on a base. Oh, so you don't put okay, that on cool, the car. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, um, awesome. You can do like a whole diorama. And thing. then I believe this one's yours, hey? This is mine. Yeah. This is my one. So <laughs> I I love the classic version of this car. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not really fair to say this is classic. I think this is more the Good. manga so, version. But this is the first form, yeah? Yeah, this is first form. Yeah. Which I like because I just... There's this game I used to play with my buddy Dave called uh, Motorola MC. And all the cars in there are based on the design of this car from Cyber hmm. Formula. It's okay. a little game like top-down racing game, also yeah. futuristic racing. <laughs> so anyway, it's super cool. Um, and cool. also, this, this is an anime I've never ever watched in English. Or with subtitles. I've only ever watched it in Japanese. So I, I, I don't even know... <laughs> no, I, 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 yeah, I, I think it's a good place to, you know, good time to get into it then, eh? Yeah, totally. I mean, I, I've i watched a lot of it, mm. I just haven't watched it knowing the story. And then we have the Super Acerada. This is like the hardcore final version of this car. Mm. This thing... Well, in, in a TV series. In the TV yeah, series. And afterwards they made movies and OVAs. And then yeah. it just gets insane. Yeah. And this but thing the most iconic one is these two. The, yeah. the GSX and the Acerada Super I would, Acerada. I would almost argue that the Super Acerada is maybe a little more iconic mm. if you didn't grow up with it. Because mm. they use this car... I mean, I've seen this thing pop up on, cyber, uh, on, on playlists. I've seen it used in club flyers i've hmm. seen it for lots of things cool little rubber wheels slicks hmm. gonna need some work uh just lots and lots of parts yeah, so for people that love like formula one um they really like you know i think they will appreciate this yeah if you so want to just get away from like you want to build a bit of more of a yeah. sci-fi car there aren't a lot of sci-fi cars out in the world there aren't a lot of cool anime cars out there in the world of model kits so yeah this is definitely something to lean into yeah. And then, yeah, this one's mine. That's it. And I want to paint it like red, like Sazabi. Yeah. Which is so weird, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to actually paint mine stock because, yeah. <laughs> so what's interesting is Jeff and my cars are actually pretty much the same, but they have very small, subtle mm. differences. Actually, this is like a remodel, right? Eh? So it's yes. the same car, but then this came out much later. So they actually remodeled yes. it from scratch, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, actually, Jeff, they both are, but the design mm. of your car is the anime version. Mine oh, is okay, the okay. manga version. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. and you can tell because of the wheels having the the wheel texture. Mm. Uh, the the intakes are different. The, the intakes is like yeah. very different. Yeah. You got the solid intakes. It's mm. All those little things that yeah. they've done. Very excited to build these. Mm. Jeff and I will definitely keep you clued in. Maybe we can do a bit of a dual build thing. I don't know. We'll see how it goes in the future. Yeah. Jeff, what is this? <laughs> Ready? I mean, <laughs> 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 it's a what? Clang clang. Clang clang. Clang clang. Clang clang. Yeah, clang clang. K K. I keep calling her Rankly. <laughs> I keep calling her Rankly, but it's not Rankly, it's Clang Clang. Yeah. So Clang Clang is one of the aliens in Macross. Mm -hmm. And this is not like a typical waifu kit. Yeah. This is actually the character in the anime wearing the armor. But apparently this is a new line from uh, Oshima. They're doing like their own uh, frame on skills. Yes. So it's not this, they don't appear in an anime like this? Uh, she believe. does, uh, she wears armor. Okay. Yeah. It's not, um, they, they just don't have it in... Because uh, I believe that Aoshima has released another two kits, I think, of this line, where it's also similar, like... So when um, she shrinks down to our size, mm. to human size, she's a child. Mm. Because there's a mess up in the, in the technology, like, just with her cells. She's actually an adult, mm. okay? But she turns into, a, because anime, okay? <laughs> but she is a giant, she's a Maltrody. Um, or Maltrondi. So she's one well, of the female species alien. Anyway, hmm. doesn't matter. They're giants. They wear armor. They fight with us, with yeah. mankind. They used to be our enemies. Blah, blah, blah. Freaking cool anime. <laughs> Look at all this plastic in the skits. Wow. <laughs> Yo, and those, all these pink, eh? It's really, really vibrant. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I know Screech and, and I And even like bubblegum blue over there. Yeah, and then we got even more like joy. So it's a lot, like of, a lot of plastic. Yeah, a lot. Well, essentially, it's almost like two kits. Yeah. You know, you build uh, the fighter and then you build the girl figurine and then they can also combine together. I love this version of it, her riding the armor. Hmm. Because that hmm. is uh, uh, just a bit of backstory. The blue fighter in the anime, that's her love interest. She wants to... The, the marry a plane. <laughs> yeah, so guys, that's one of the things that made Macross so amazing, is that um, it, it spoke about, you know, stepping over cultural boundaries. And there was a, a marriage between an alien and a human um, in that series as well. Spoiler alert for an anime that's as old as I am. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's a pretty amazing thing. So it's kind of a thing that Macross always likes to just remind people of, is that, you know what, we should be, you know, open and understanding mm. with cultures and stuff like that because macros is all about culture 
uh, protoculture. Ooh. So, Ooh. yes. More macros. More macros. And now we're jumping from Aoshima now to into Hasegawa. Hasegawa. And we're also going back in time yeah. for macros. Yeah, so this is the VF1. So, so Hasegawa is known for a lot of their um, playing kits. Yep. So, you know, it's, it's kind of no-brainer for them to do macros. They also still yeah. make amazing macros kits. Hmm. Um, I know that a lot of other companies are jumping in. We've seen Bandai's offerings. We've also seen offerings from, uh, what's that, Max Factory. Mm -hmm. So, very, very cool stuff coming up. But this is, uh, you can ask Anthony, guys, mm -hmm. if you want to. He's built one of these recently. This is a VF1 with the Super Pack or the Striker Pack, Ooh. depending on how you want Look to Look at that decal sheet. Yes, you can build any Jeez. flavor. So, you can build... Um, uh, Roy Foca, you can bring uh, Max, you can do Milia. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw. <laughs> if you want, and then you can yeah. do... Oh, there's even Slither, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Kakazaki, uh, um, he... Shame, yeah, let's not go there. But he's the green one. <laughs> uh, which is quite new, because they never used to put the green decal in this, hmm. eh? Yeah, it's, it's always a separate sheet. A separate yeah. sheet yeah. Okay. So you get all of the decals, hmm. and you can do all of the versions, and this is the TV version, because the movie version actually has the different color plane. Okay, cool. Uh, so you're gonna even, uh, I think the decals even allow you to paint it up in the movie version. Just keep an eye on the manual. Mm -hmm. Manual is in Japanese. Uh, this is one of the first, uh, I remember when I bought one of these, I bought one of these at the first uh, icon, second icon I ever attended here in South Africa. So that's a sure. long time ago. That is and Now, sure, this is like what, the super armored version, This right? is a fully armored, armored Valkyrie, Valkyrie VF1J, yeah? Hmm. Guys, what makes this so great is firstly, this kit came out last year. Okay, mm. this is a last yeah, year release. For the 14th anniversary of Macross. So the technology is insane on it. It's a lot better technology than some of the older kits in terms of the molding. But yeah, man, armored Valkyries are just super sexy. I don't know what it is about them. They're just amazing. Um, and I know that a lot of guys sure. are out there that are going to dig it. All the grace, eh? All the grace. All the grace. <laughs> so obviously, guys, it's not like a Bandai uh, kit. Um, but it's, this is also very, like, militaristic. Yeah. So, you know. Very so mono colors. Yes, it's it's a low visibility color. Mm. So it's the Operation Bullseye um, team, which is actually just like a side story thing. It's not in the anime or anything. Mm. Oh, you always want to check out the decals. Always <laughs> want to check out them decals. <laughs> As we're making sure it's not uh, foil stickers. Oh, no, no, no. no, no yeah. How's the <laughs> government <laughs> one be? It's, it's only Banda that makes uh, foil stickers. Eh? What's well, in a new yeah. <laughs> What is interesting on this kit that I've, no, that I've seen based on reviews that I've watched is very unlike Hasegawa, they have color coded their parts. Like you guys saw different grays in there. Mm -hmm. That's not normal for Hasegawa to do. Mm. They normally will just give you the kit in white and tell you to paint it. So they're definitely like catching on with the mm. whole. They they they're evolving. Anyway, mm. okay. Cool. Now Yay. we're done with all the other companies. Now okay. back to Bandai. Yay. Thirty minute missions. <laughs> lots of hands for oh, handy new, jobs. New. Yeah. Hey. So <laughs> guys, if, you, if we were always complaining about like HG kits <laughs> don't come with open hands and stuff hand options, you could get this hand and then use yeah. it for your Gundams, you know? You could, and yeah. these, actually the aesthetic on them suits Gundam quite nicely mm. as well, which it's, I like. It's not just open palms and the closed fist, though. you also get pointing. So, pointing. You know, so the guys who want to do the Spider-Man, you just know, take a <laughs> <laughs> you can do And then we've got a pot boy. Hey, pot boy is back. <laughs> these guys are actually so cool, especially when you just buy two of them and you and use now, them to do Choo Choo's hair. <laughs> to match them up. Yes. Yeah. The short guys together, you know. Middle gear. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the link between. So, so this is the Xeon. Machine and Zeon technology or war and technology. <laughs> I think this is so cool. I'm mm. so sorry this didn't come sooner for my competition entry, but I'm still <laughs> going to have fun building it anyway. Because this is everything I love in a model kit, in a mm. mech design. Well, not everything. It's a lot of what I like from this kind of mechanical mecha, Metal Gear Solid kind mm. of feel. Anyway, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> we got uh, Esposito Alpha. Yeah, we got which back. It's cool to have this back. Transformer. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Well, what makes it great is the 30 minute missions, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how many people are buying this for just this. Mm -hmm. I buy it for the parts. Like the parts and yeah. the nose cone on this mm -hmm. is really, really nice. So, yeah, and then you can buy the wing set and slap some wings on, then it can make it look yeah. like a real jet. So <laughs> for the guys who, who like, oh, it's like, oh, all these advanced of Zeta kits, they have these sexy legs, and if you can't get it because of P Banda, you can make your own. With these legs, you know? <laughs> Spinozzi Assassin's Type. Uh, Jeff hey. and I have, I have said a lot about this. Um, we don't need to say any more, mm -hmm. uh, anything else. Still makes for a great uh, Rockman villain. But check this mm. out. Yay! It's a four-wheel version. It's like the... Bike. It's like the four-wheeled Votoms <laughs> version of 30-minute missions. 
I really appreciate this design. I think a mm. lot of guys, uh, I find that this is quite divisive. Some people really love it, some people hate it. Mm. I don't find there's many in the middle. Thankfully, I'm for me and not for my wallet, I'm one of the people that love it. Mm. Um, but I think the parts are going to be really, really fun, especially if you wanted to do some cool motorbike things. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you were guys were quite inspired by the winners of the 30 Minute Missions competition. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's the one thing that the, the reader's uh, build is missing. <coughs> um, it needs what, a bike. Like a bike huh? It needs the bike, <laughs> so let's hey, see. Hey, baby, let's say. Henshin! Ooh! Ah. <laughs> Kamen Rider? Why is, it, why is it called Masked Rider here? Why is it not the Japanese name, Kamen Rider? Oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You know, they, it's just westernizing of everything. The Jap uh, Americans are like, what's a common? What's a common? <laughs> common. Oh, com common. Um, which is so weird because when he appeared in Power Rangers, and he does appear in Power Rangers, hmm. by the way, um, and Black RX, actually. In fact, I think Black RX appears before him. And they had um, the first season of the TV show in America. They called it Common Rider. Hmm. So I don't know why they're calling him Mouse Rider now. It's weird. But then again, maybe maybe for the new generation. Yeah. So you guys like Evangelion, right? Yes, you do. Uh, we know you do. This mm. movie, Shin Kamen Rider, Shin Mask Rider, Shin. is directed and written by Hideyuki Anno, the same guy who did Evangelion. And having watched Shin Godzilla, and I'm always going to uh, pimp these films, <laughs> Shin Godzilla feels like Evangelion. It's so good. So I can't wait to watch this. This has just come off cinema in Japan. I believe we're going to be getting it the Western. I think it's coming to Amazon for us to watch. Oh, okay. well. Anyway, here's the awesomeness that is this model kit. You are building an action figure, which makes this absolutely magical. There's flesh parts. There's flesh parts, yeah. For what? Mm. Oh, for the neck. Yeah, you want to see underneath his neck? Oh, okay, no, okay. So you don't see it on the. Oh, there, 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 there. Yeah, there, see yeah, a bit yeah, of a see. neck. <laughs> and, um. So yeah. he's human. Engine. Oh, oh, rider kick. Sorry. And it comes with a base. Oh, nice. So you can yeah. do rider kick, <laughs> rider jump. <laughs> right out the box. Yeah, <laughs> Henshin a go-go, baby. So, uh, yeah, no way, Luke. Uh, the other day uh, on our broadcast, he was like, uh, no love for Kamen Rider. <laughs> I'm like, dude, here's love for Kamen Rider. This is the Kamen Rider I love. Kamen Rider and Black Rx. Mm. So, the classics, very, eh? the classics, because mm. I'm old. And speaking about classic, this is, here's another classic or two classics. Hello, Kitty. Collaboration. Ryan for yeah. Kitty. <laughs> so we've talked about this kit before, you know. It's, uh, it's plastic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. It's really cool. With it's the, also Gundam. With um, a Hello Kitty Why do face we never runnels? get the Zaku ones? They never have them in stock. It's so no, annoying. No, it's just uh, the, the classic uh, RX MTA2 is the popular one. You know? I want so. Hello Zaku. Mm. They've done it, but we just very seldom get the stock. More classics? More in Intrigrade, yes. It's the uh, Intrigrade kits back in stock. Also some Pokemons. Obviously yeah, some Pokemon. <laughs> they were sold out from Comic-Con, so we bring them back in. Yep, and uh, also, um, <coughs> what did I call this thing? Toilet Dragon. <laughs> yeah, Toilet Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it's called. Um, and you guys love this thing so much that it barely, it did this. It came in for the unboxing and it went boing into shipping. <laughs> So we got more of these. So okay. jump on it because it's a Alice. very good and very unusual suit. And as I said to you guys before, it's very similar to the Farsia and stuff like that. So <laughs> anyway, so that's really rad. We got Wing Gundam, wing, yeah. wing Gundam Zero. So guys, you know I like Wing. Um, this one has always been a bit extra and like until they did this kit, I never liked this design. I always thought it was like ugly. What the generation two? You don't like? I don't. I never liked it. It always looked too funny. Oh, okay. But the model kit, the HG proportions are very very nice, and so the MG proportions for that, and that converted me to liking this hmm. because the original kit that they did back then was like a horrible brick. <laughs> I yeah, hate yeah. That kit. since uh, <laughs> you like the original more, well, here's the original <laughs> wing, and, and you know RGs, you know you can't yeah. go wrong. Especially can't go wrong with RG. RG, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, and guys, I dare one of you guys to paint this up mm. in like evil colors, like dark raven, purples, and stuff. Mm. So, do it. Um, I'm blooded off burns. Yep. We have Asma Day back in stock. Yeah, so obviously the side story thing is pretty uh, big in Japan with the whole mobile game. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. so it's all ass all day. Mm. So, Asma Day. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we got the Schwab uh, again. Schwab. You guys know how I feel about the Schwab. It's a winner. Mm -hmm. Strike Gundam, apparently Classics, we just can't get know? enough. They don't sit on the shelf long enough. Yeah. Same, same thing with the Freedom, yeah? yeah. Freedom! Freedom! Yeah. Yeah. But now you get winning, winning, winning. 
Yeah, so guys, this is not a knockoff Gundam. Yeah. This is not Windam. <laughs> okay, it's like Deformation Robo. It's pretty Char Charlie Sheen's uh, mobile suit. Hey? Yeah, win, win. He, like, he loves winning. Yeah, buy winning, bro. Yeah. Buy winning. <laughs> so, uh, cool thing about this is, I can't believe this, but this is one of the most popular kits that we get in. Hmm. That's very every time. I mean, it's it, well, it's a grunt, but it looks like a like, like higher, a hero, higher, higher tier. Yeah, bro. What I do know about this kit is that it's an outstanding build, <clears> and <throat> it's a really fantastic build. Like the whole everything, the articulation, everything is really good. Plus the backpack, man. And it comes with the L striker. Yeah. So yeah. No, is it the IWSP? Well, uh, oh no, it's the yeah, Windham. It's, it's the, the different dagger pack or the yeah. enforcer pack or whatever. Mm. Anyway, anyway, it's, it's got that. Yeah. Um, because we're gonna be going. Stuff. Zeta Gundam is on Crunchyroll, <laughs> finally, thank you Crunchyroll, <laughs> my favorite Gundam series ever, now you can own the real grade, don't listen to people on the internet, except for us, hmm. and Zach Aurelius, um, <laughs> because this is actually a really, really good kit, manage your expectations, yeah. um, it's not a toy, it's not meant to be messed around with, you build it, you hmm. get a good pose for it, and you keep it there, outstanding proportions, um, I know that uh, recently Zaku has been doing a lot of cool comparisons hmm. with the different with those Zetas, Zetas through the yeah. age, and the Zeta version 2 looks amazing. I can't wait for mine. You um, mean Vercar? Vercar, yeah. The yeah, the version yeah, the version, K, version, yeah, the version K, Vercar, however you want to go with that. Um, cool thing is, is that this, in my mind, until I actually have the Vercar in my hands, it still has the best proportions for Zeta. Hmm. This and the HG, the new HG. Personally, oh, from, from, okay, I've only built one Zeta kit, uh, which the is the version 2.0, 2. and yeah. that one was like, mm, so good. It was, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, the, still holds up, you know? Yeah, the, the, right? Hmm. It's just something about Zeta. They just really <coughs> try to refine it. So there's a Zeta for everybody, like Zaku. Hmm. Um, Mark II, Ayug, yeah. real grade. Nice to have. Good to have you back in the My store, buddy. My favorite Gundam! Jeff's hey. favorite Gundam. <laughs> it's also a mock Gundam, which is quite funny. Hmm. <laughs> Don't tell him that. Oh, <laughs> um, RX-78 II, Revive. The classic. Uh, yeah, the classic <clears throat> and all-round great kit. Yeah. And... Before you get into the gun, if the uh, HG is not your vibe, get the MG. Yeah, this is my favorite MG kit. Yes. Yeah. There was well, also one, a lot one of, of talk about it on the Discord recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, a yeah. big RG. Look at the inner frame, look at that. All the mechanical And a lesson details. on like, something that mm. if you guys are not familiar with the Gundam lore, mm -hmm. that a lot of people don't realize about this kit is you can actually build it as Gundam mm -hmm. or as late Gundam. Late Gundam is with the magnetic coating. So with the if you if you look carefully you can actually it has variations. I don't know if yeah, it shows you on the Yeah, I think it shows those circle circle the, bits, yeah. For the yeah, like the plus mold. Uh, yeah, yeah, those and then also the okay. metal things. Uh, yes, yeah, there you go. Show you. So late coating, magnet coating and all that stuff. Like people will see this in the box and be like whatever, but if you're mm. into the law then you know. Yeah, so you can swap them out, the yeah. Other. And if you pick up one of these MGs don't, to, don't forget to pick up the decals. Which are yeah. stunning. Mm -hmm. Although, personally, I wouldn't use those. They look yeah, like Yeah, just paint it yourself. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. paint it yourself or use them. Those are for around the joints, yeah. Yeah, the gold mm. parts. Yeah. The magnetic coating parts. Mm. Just, just paint it yourself. Eh. Come, you can do it. Yeah, if we if believe in you. Master grades to be, deserve to be painted. <laughs> Guys, Jim. Gian. Hey, Gian. Gian. However you want to say it, however you want to. Play with it. This is a great kit. Mm. Shield hero. Shield hero. <laughs> I love this bad boy. And I, everybody who's bought one of these loves it too. Cause and again, if you get one of these, you've got to have the RX-78 too. Yes. To so they can go. Bah, bah. <laughs> oh, pick up <laughs> pose, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, this is cool. So then, yeah, they can check it out. Also, Tristan. I know you wanted one of these. Every boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Then, more RGs. Well, more men, men. RGs. Well, the first, oh. new Gundam and the high new. Basically, yeah. new Gundam, slightly more expensive new Gundam. Yeah. <laughs> well, this, this one appears in a novel? Yes, that's right. Baltorchica's Children. And, and this the, is the movie anim, version. Uh, well, movie anime, yeah. yeah. Mm. Sazabi yeah. versus Nightingale. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, because <laughs> this is what actually goes up against the Nightingale. Yeah. So... You, no, you've got the Nightingale. <laughs> yeah, so guys... Jeff and I don't need to say anything mm. more about this. The internet can be believed on this. This is an outstanding kit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at it uh, all blown up. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's some of this. Beautiful. <laughs> and. Oh, getting oh. some oh. aqua marine. <laughs> I'm very yeah. excited. Crabbies. Yeah. Crabbies. Little crabbies. <laughs> Yay. Hi, <laughs> God. Yo, guys, it is so funny. Screech actually squealed when he saw this. Yeah, I screeched. The bugs <laughs> opened. He was like, yeah. 
Yeah. I was like, I was like, I'm so sorry. The, the like, Zigok experiment. Zigok E. Yeah. And where does Zigok E appear? Uh, you know? In the uh, what's it? Pocket. More, more in the, the pocket. pocket. That's yeah. right. Yes. The high gog also wore in the pocket. More in the yeah. pocket. In the first opening scene, you know, when they break into the base. Yeah. Into Torrington base. So yeah. check here. These two here. Mm -hmm. That's the Cyclops team. Mm -hmm. That's the special as uh, the Unspecial Forces team. Yeah, so cool thing about, so keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff is just rad, you mm. know. But yeah, guys, we got these, and everybody here loves a marine uh, design. Yeah. I mean, yeah. guys, Wait, my favorite, high gog. I mean, not to. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, literally, the high gog and the zigog E inspired this design. <laughs> I mean, look at the back. Can you see the little orange thing? Yes, mm. exactly. <laughs> That's very much inspired yeah. by the, my love for the marine units and also because Cape Town is a seaside town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. cool. Oh, look at all this white boxes here. From Woo, look at these twin, twin towers here, twin towers. How, how should we get into it? Come on, say that. Come on, say that. Don't knock it down. <laughs> oh, do that. Um, so, first of all, the action base, well, sorry, not action base, display, display base. Display base. The weapon, weapon display base. So I got a hack yeah. for you guys with the display base, by the way. Um, and Bandai are quite cheeky. You have to buy two of these, which is like kind of annoying. Well, if you have Aerial, right? Because Aerial has what, well, 11 bits? And Rebold or? as well, Aerial oh, okay, Rebold. Okay. And also Darabold. Uh, Dar uh, Darabold. Darabold doesn't have that. It's got two yet. arms, two legs that come off. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. Begua bow and a few of them also come with single stands. Mm. So basically, you just have to buy all of the witch from Mercury <laughs> and one of these, and you should be good to go. <laughs> yeah, there's pro tip. Um, anyway, <clears throat> yeah, we got Mirina. You know, meow, meow. you know, I really hope that this character on this Sunday's episode um, changes a little bit mm. no because this kid is gonna yeah. sit. Mm. Like this kid's gonna sit now. Nobody likes Mirina yeah. right now. She's she's a big meanie. She's a big yeah. meanie. She's mini, hot though. Mini Bubini. Hey, like, she's only what, 16? Well, okay, she's pretty then. I mean, if I was 16, I'd FBI be. FBI, open up! <laughs> yo, dude, actually, yo, just now, like. Hey, but babe, blame Bandai with their design on, on the feet, eh? Hey? Yeah. Showing off feet. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you can take off her shoes. Okay. Wow, um, yeah. are Screech you... does not endorse these messages. <laughs> I don't endorse these messages. I, I, I don't, no, no judgment, man. If you're into feet, yeah. uh, here's Big Way, uh, Big Wa Pene. I mean, Big Wa Pente, <laughs> not the pasta, uh, aka really cool shield, um, mm. Big Wa Bow. So there's that one, Big Wa Bow, yay. Mm -hmm. Such a nice kid. Really isn't there really another like Bergwa uh, kind of variant? The Michaelis. Michaelis. Yes, the male, the male version of the big one. So nice. Uh, yeah. Jeff, I need to get my hands on one of these. But <clears throat> you guys, please get your hands on one of these mm. first. I'll get mine eventually. Yeah. Um, Jeff built one for a stream once and I was very jealous. And we got... Yeah. Yeah, so last month we got the... Uh, uh, you know, and now we got uh, <coughs> chicken mag yeah. McNuggets. Yeah. yeah, the KFC. Uh, 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 yeah, like, mm, 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 mm. <coughs> I'm loving it. Yeah. Now look at those drumsticks. Oh, God. <coughs> I think there's something wrong with me. I really love the design mm. of the thorn. Mm. I love the weird proportions. I think when uh, and I'm dying to build one of these guys. You want me to build one of these for you in my next build stream? I think I should because mm. I've got one. And. Um, I just, I, I just want to play with it and see what it's actually like, but it just looks like it's going to be a, such a cool kit, even though it's like super unusual and awkward <laughs> and weird. And I still don't think we've seen everything behind this kit yeah. yet. I'm, I st I'm still thinking Bandai's going to surprise yeah. us. They're probably going to combine the two. They're going to release an expansion yeah. set that we're going to have to buy for this <laughs> thing to like become something else's leg or something. Anyway, so, sorry Jeff. Ooh. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's also got a nice, uh, sorry, it's got a nice chocolate flavor. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks like, it, like I really like what, uh, what Zaku really said to say, it's like chocolate pudding. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of got that consistency. Show them, show yeah. them. Uh, the fifth form, uh, gotta fight against the Gundam aerial rebuild. Uh, yeah, so. It's so cool, it never gets used, look, ever. Per personally off the bat, I do like the original aerials design more, Me same. but the rebuild does look more Aggressive. Male aggressive, yeah, yeah. Aggressive. yeah. Mm. I like the shield. Um, there's some things to the shield that I like. Mm. I like the whole it combines with the gun thing. Mm -hmm. Everything, uh, guys, 
this gives me a serious GP01 vibe. A GP01 FB vibe. It reminds me a lot of that design. And I don't know, I just feel like too much of that identity is coming through here. And I don't know if I'm feeling it. Oh, we got a Demi Trainer. Oh, choo choo! Choo choo, Demi Trainer! Teenage Mutant, what are you doing to the Demi Trainer? Oh, you gotta, you gotta punch this? it, you know? Oh, you gotta punch yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> No, not first thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, where, where, where's our aerial? Yes, guys, jumping next. The, what's it, Mirosol? Mirosol flight, flight unit. Flight uh, unit. With then, uh, open hands. Yes. Oops. Hey, oh, aerial, open terrible. hands for the Gundam aerial. Yay, so it can <laughs> slap you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just need to get some tomato sauce, you know? Yeah, go, go, it can't do this yeah. with a closed hand. Yeah, go, go, to, go to McDonald's and get a, a you know, Tomorrow. Otherwise, the yeah. clear red that we got from Mr. Hobby will yeah. be pretty good. Um, oh, I'm loving this kit. I must finish this kit. I can't wait to have some time to finish this kit. Hmm. Damn you, Nintendo Switch! <laughs> Farrakt! Farrakt! No. Also want to build this. Mm. Some, oh, this is so... This is so edgelord in all the best ways. Also, in, uh, in which from Mercury can these people just lock their mobile suits? Hmm. Like yeah. everybody's jumping yeah. in and driving, riding everybody's like suits. Like driving, mine, freaking yeah. crazy! What the hell, man? Especially anyway. uh, what's it? So who's that guy? Um, Gro. Yeah. Gro, um, Gro just pilots all the suits. He just right? gets in the suit. Yeah. He's just like he's up in there. The first hmm. or the first? Yes. Uh, what else do I need to say? The hype and the love for this is real. Um, Peace, guys. I love how much Vision Mercury we have. Yeah. It's so cool. And Demi Trainer. Demi Trainer, like the other one, but not the other one. Mm. Um, where is the other one? I put it down here. So, only difference is Choo Choo's custom one comes with that giant gun. I also believe the the leg is extended yes. on the, on the Demi, uh, Choo Choo's Demi Trainer. Oh, is it? Well, it looks like it. Oh, it looks like it. I no. can't confirm or deny because I haven't actually built this no, one. Look at the leg over there. Oh, over wow. There. Jeez. They really do want you to make a Ninja Turtle here. Like, for reals. <laughs> I like that designation though, that's very mm. cool. So yeah guys, we so got the very houses. vanilla one, which is nice. Oh, oh this one, Jeff, brand yeah. new, brand new. It's Jeff Day. It's you can talk about. Heavy! Yeah. Heavy! This one's like such a cool air box out, because eh? it's like, a lot, of when, uh, a lot of them is based in space and stuff. And yeah, and they're all like, I'm a Gundam! <laughs> this one really this shows like, like the, 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 the heaviness of these kits. You know, the, like, like, it's going to war in a, in a, in a city, you know? Landing, in like spawning in Checkpoint Back. Bravo. Exactly. Good, 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 good. Engineer. So, so this <laughs> kit, I actually want to try out one day. Mm. Yeah, dude. I'm sorry, I didn't know that sooner. Like all the military uh, specs um, of the Witch on Mercury kits, those are the ones that I really want to get. Yeah, chicken dinner. Mm. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. the Heinrich Sturm, we were speaking about that last night. Speaking about the uh, military uh, specs, here's uh, the Delanza. Delanza Soul. Yeah. Delanza Oof. Sun. Interesting. Yeah. I, the, the, I the, love the, how the Delanza has. Sorry, Jeff. All, all the variations, eh? I, yeah, yeah I, I would like to have, I hope we get the Daryl Bald uh, variation as well. Mm. But I also like how the Delanza in the show has evolved mm. with us and how Gwell has evolved. Uh, anyway, let me not get into it oh, too yeah. much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it is cool to see. And this one is so hardcore with its headband mm. instead of having a horn. Yeah, a horn. Yeah. I also like that they kind of make the whole horn thing about competition. Mm. So it's not a military thing, yeah, so which is kind of interesting. So all the ma military spec ones don't have yeah, that uh, uh, they don't horn. The they don't need the antenna. Yeah, the antenna, yeah. They don't have an antenna, mm. yeah. Because they, they, when they fight, they fight to kill, you know? Yeah, well, you know I love that antenna, so. Mm. Anyway, Daryl Balde, mm. so good. Daryl Bald, Daryl Baldy, the little bold, whatever. Here it is. Uh, a lot of guys mm. on Insta often see guys post pictures of this going, this is my favorite Witch from Mercury kit. I'm like, yeah. And going from Gwil's suit, this is a, his first suit that he pilots. Which Gwil's I still Delanza. love. Yeah. Yeah. Like guys, I'll be straightforward with you. It's not the most <clears throat> exciting build, <clears throat> but the result is awesome. <clears throat> like it's just so easy. This kit was kind of like building a Pokemon. It was just very quick for me. But it's fun. And I love the Naginata. The... That's a definite win for me. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> and um, oh, and then before we close off on the witch from Mercury we stuff, so mess. we've got uh, a few decals. Yeah, a, a few of them. Yeah, Jeff, you can get so the witch from Mercury. These stuff. are the three decals that uh, Bandai just released uh, for witch from Mercury. So decal one has Ariel, and has Lefrith. It has the, uh, what's it, Choo Choo's Demi Trainer. Oh, they don't even show the boxes on the back anymore. That's oh annoying. man, that's lame. And, I, guys. and then there's Bagua Bill's one as well. Uh, 
The pack two has the, I think, Bagua Pinte, the uh, Zawards, the Gundam Fract, Mikolas up there, and then the... And some general as well. I think they're both yeah, generals yeah. at the bottom. And then number three has all the Delanza and Derubolde. Yeah. They actually add quite a nice Ooh. cyber quality to the designs, mm. eh? And then guys, um, other decals. Yeah, yes. so I am a huge fan of the Gundam games, and I'm sure you guys would be too if you could find them. Obviously, we can't talk about how to find them, mm -hmm. but on old consoles, PS, going as far back as PS2 and um, Sega Saturn and Dreamcast for some of these decals, um, like the exam system from Blue Destiny. Mm -hmm. We've got like teams like the Thoroughbred. We've got Slave Wrath. We've got Phantom Sweep. We got, uh, what are these guys called again? Yeah, Invisible sure. Nights. So many side story. These um, are all factions, side story yeah. stuff from the mm. games and from like manga and all that kind of stuff. So these are really cool. And let's not mess around. How amazingly sexy is the Phantom Sweep uh, insignia? It is oh. so cool looking. What's well, a skull biting something? Yeah, it's a ghost. It's a, yeah, it's basically eating a ghost. Because this, oh, the, the, okay. this is the, the Federation form. A uh, team that's sent to go and find the ghosts, all the hmm. the different like slave ras, phantom this, phantom okay, that, cool. whatever. Anyway, it's and cool. Obviously, we've shown the RX T H two version three point decals. The God RG Gundam. God Gundam decal finally, you know, and then also got the thirty minute sisters decals. All the eyes. Yeah, all the different eyes. All the eyes. <laughs> and some like. Um, faction. All the slides for my butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can and do a tramp stamp. Also, I thought this was pretty cool of them. They give you the decals for Funsaki as well, hey? For the horse. Mmm. Mm. Cool. So, yeah. that was so quite you can turn your um, HG Funsaki to match the oh, RG. Yeah. yeah. Okay, last bit of um, kit here. Okay, so this is just a cool kit. It's the full armor Unicorn Gundam, but in HG form. Why is the HG form nice? Because it's cheaper than the real grade and it's cheaper than the master grade. It's a good, it's a, it's a really affordable way to get this, your hands on this kit. Um, it's also the definitive high grade version of this kit in green because they also did the red one. Mm. So if you guys want the whole happy new type vibe, <laughs> you can get the green one. I really do dig this. Uh, for a long time, I actually considered getting this because it was cheaper than the real grade. For, uh, for all the extra parts because mm. at the time there was no full armored or fully armed real grade mm. and then they did that and I'm like oh, okay well the real grade only came out what 10 years later because this came out what 2014 14, and I think the wait real no grade, real, came out real grade 2017 yeah three yeah. years later yeah and uh, the real grade came out when I was in the states so 2017 or 2018 I think it's one mm. of, oh my god I'm old yeah can't remember <laughs> stuff Banshee, normal, cool, whatever, yay. Okay, so we got Unicorn. Yay! Okay, now let's go a little bit now. after Unicorn. Yeah, we Into get the narrative. Narrative, Jeff's mm. gonna handle that one. Oh, cool, I'm narrative C pack. So this is like the, they called it the Scarecrow um, because it's not really armored up because it basically relies on like the packs to make it more powered more up. Complete. So the C pack is basically just the cycle frame gets built on top of it. Yeah. yeah. So That's it's kind of like, yeah, frame. it's a very like a uh, um, test prototype for Unicorn kind of thing. Yeah. It's also made by um, also the same company who funds the AU in the series. But watch the movie. Hmm. Watch the movie. Uh, also, just some interesting things about this box art. Screech, mm -hmm. you want to show them quickly? What? Um, the Phoenix. The Phoenix. Uh, Gundam, uh, the Unicorn Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And the Neo Zero uh, 2. Don't even ask, we can't get it. Yeah, it's, it's a pee bundle. Nobody can get it. It's, and also, it's the size of a small car. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can't get it, I'm sorry. Okay. And then, for those of you that, uh, you know... Something uh, I'm excited about. Uh, people who love spinaji or the banana. Spinaggio? Banana. <laughs> yeah. Spinaggio. <laughs> Oh, he yeah. pilots, he pilots oh yeah, system. that's right. Yeah. Banana, banana. That's why system. the gun is the unicorn's gun. gun, and that's why the suit has like six arms. Well, no, four. Because four it blows extra the arms off because it's yeah, not a Gundam frame. Because the the rifle is too powerful, so every time it fires the well, after a few shots, it will actually it breaks the arms. Yeah, breaks so the arms. Yeah, so, so, so he has to reload his new new arms. You know. It's yeah. also interesting in that it's a mock Gundam because this is actually a Zionic unit, a Neo Zion uh, unit, Dovin Wolf. Yeah. That's correct. And it's got a Gundam head, so it's interesting. The only thing it doesn't have that the Dovin Wolf used to have is this giant cannon, which it sticks into its hmm. stomach I area. I think the feet are so different. 
Like, yes, they gun them feet. Yeah. Like Dove and Wolf. Uh, they're a little different. Yeah, I think there's like minor differences. Yeah. The, biggest, the, the biggest distinct part that's tied to the Dove and Wolf is the leg. Yes. Yeah. This and leg here is very distinct to yeah, the Dove and Wolf. Yeah, and also the giant cannon, <laughs> which I don't want to go into. Also, another like fun feature, you'll see the legs are very similar to the Double Zeta or yeah, mm. to the Double Zeta Gundam. There's a reason for that, it's because they're both made by Anaheim. Because <laughs> Anaheim is naughty. <laughs> uh, the Dove and Wolf you'll see in Double Zeta Gundam. And yeah, guys, we're there's not There's only one more thing that we. No, uh, we, two. I don't want to oh. say it's the best for last, but it, for me it kind of <laughs> is. Um, so, Gundam Thunderbolt Psycho Zaku. Oh, Vortex. Very, mm -hmm. very yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yours. <laughs> All the work that you have to do, lots and lots and lots of painting. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's great. It's a fun kit for detail painting. A little bit of seams, but you're going to love it. Mm. Go and um, show the sides. Look Ooh, at that, dude. Look at that. <laughs> It's All the weapons, eh? All the weapons. huge. Mm. But it's, it doesn't have the huge canister that comes with the... Uh, no, the master, master grade, grade one is yeah. a special type of big. Mm. Uh, it's yeah. got a really big propellant <laughs> tank. But yeah, I mean, look at this. Like, this box is like... Square to the off. brim, yeah. yeah. It's full. Mm. So, sadly, lots of stickers, but you know what? See that as masking for all of the mm. painting that you get into do. painting yeah yeah mm. it deserves it it deserves yeah especially if you're going to spend this kind of cash on it and it's a lot of fun mm. jeff bring it out bring it out final thing oh screech 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 behind the camera this yo you you're saying what did you what did you have planned for it like you want to do some Battle weathering. damage, weathering. When I'm way better, but I think uh, a battle damage version of this would be <laughs> that, that, that very cool. Mm. Jeez, my yeah. unit. <laughs> so it's got like four shields. People might say, oh, it's so overkill. But yeah, there's a reason why it has four shields. No, because no, it, two are actually for combat and the other two are to protect it from yeah, debris. Debris, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, and oh, so there's the, yeah, mm, cool. and there's the core fighter. And the core, yeah, the cool, core cool fighter. <laughs> so, can we open it for them? Yeah, 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 sure. go ahead. Yeah. Ooh, and I love that off-white yeah. blue. It's a very blue cold, it's a very cold it's so nice. like cold-hearted, you know, color that they molded with. They went for the so um but, what, yeah, like make it look like a villain. Yeah, yeah. this is bad guy colors. Mm. Okay, this is like classic bad guy colors. The way the orange and the burgundy contrast. This is the complete opposite of the RX-78 or the first Gundam's mm. colors, you know? And I love that because the whole point of Thunderbolt is to actually show the Gundam not as a heroic suit. Mm. It's to show <clears> it as an actual thing, a, a weapon of war. And guys, just to let you know, it does Game come sucks. with the it comes with the base, but we it recommend sucks. you getting Action Base 1. Yeah. Because this this base is not really it designed sucks. for this kit, yeah. That pin is what makes, uh, messes it up. It's very irritating. Hmm. Um, and also, you do get this attachment in your action base. Also, just a public service announcement for this kit. When you build this kit, it's actually got lock and key for a lot of the arms and wrists and, and I mean, for the elbows and stuff. So be careful when you're clipping parts. Make 150% <coughs> sure, measure twice, <coughs> cut once, that hmm. you're actually cutting off the nib and not the lock. The reason that's so, so important is you can see the shields here. It's actually got two units. It's got a, it's got the double, the double cannons with the shield on it, and on this side it's got the rocket launcher hmm. with the stuff on it as well. And those are heavy, and so this thing can literally only do this if you don't have the lock. So it's designed to lock it a little bit. Okay. So make sure that you don't mess that up because it's it's not something that's easy to fix once you've messed it up. Take it from me as somebody who's messed it up on my <laughs> Jinx, on my Master Grade Jinx. Ah, okay. Yeah, because the legs, you know, they also have that little bit of bite just to have the right thing. But mm. I shaved it off and now the leg is like, <coughs> <laughs> No glue in the world's going to fix that. I've got to go, <laughs> I've got to go in hard and deep. Cool. Yeah, with the fix. Right. Anyway. Sure. Look at all this stuff, eh? Yeah. It's madness, it's, man. It's, it's birthday day, well, birthday restock. So, uh, birthday, uh, yeah. birthday boy. Yeah, and the yeah. first one to one <laughs> model. <laughs> exactly, man. It's Jeff Day and Zell Day. Because mm. hey. came out today. <laughs> um, you get first dip, dude. What okay. are the, your okay. three favorites? Well, easy from this easy pick for me. So, what? So, what right? heavy? Michaelis. Always. And uh, where's the, the Lanza Soul? All the military guys, yeah. Damn. That's that's my three. From Mercury. Yeah, Damn. yeah, it's just easy, easy picks for me, you know. Um, oh. Okay, so next, what's me. your three picks? Yeah. Okay, so um, actually, this I'm very impressed with. <clears throat> Beautiful looking kit. 
very, very excited about that. Um, I didn't think that this would actually have been as interesting as I thought it was, hmm. well, as it is. Um, it's really great. Listen, I'm, I, I think the initial D stuff is awesome. Please don't get me wrong. They're very fun, simple kits, but I bought lots of cars. It, does, it takes a lot for a car kit to impress me, okay? Mm. This <laughs> impresses me. It's got a lot going on for it. It's got a very lot of sci-fi, you know, feel. It's got, it, I, I love mm. that futuristic f uh, mm. jet of a car thing going on. Actually, right? sorry, uh, Paul, let me just add a bonus. You know, today's my, my special day. Right? So, <laughs> plus uh, one. Here's, here's my plus one. You know, I grew up with the Cyber Formula watching it when, since I was a kid. You get so, yeah, this is, this is my special kit as well and I'm, I'm gonna be a bit of, little bit cheeky and kind of just Thunderbolt mm -hmm. um, I feel like I'm the only fan of Thunderbolt on our discord sometimes <laughs> um, but I really really love this monster grade I love the design I think it's incredible that it's a vocay um, considering that the oh, this comes from a manga and from a very left field manga for Gundam mm. um, so yeah yeah, I love this kit. I want yeah, more very, people It's very to adult. Yeah. yeah, it's very grown up. It's, yeah, it's very grown up. up. Hmm. And then the Zigok E. Hmm. Guys, it's a Zigok E. I mean, screech, screeched. <laughs> okay, that should say something to you. And yes, it's an older HG kit, but it still holds up. And a lot of you guys have now got the skills to fix up the seams hmm. and stuff that you need to fix up on exactly, this. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so Tristan, I think you would dig one of these if you got your hands on one. Mm -hmm. um, but not just Tristan, anybody who gets these. These are great. And I've also, I've shot and killed a lot of these guys in the game. <laughs> and whenever you see them, you do freak out a little bit. They're scary, man. They're mm. dangerous. Cool. Yeah. And then Screech. Yeah. Oh, it's your pick. I'll yeah. hold the camera for a change. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so yeah, pick your, pick your three. Well, you, you kind of stole mine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> one, ahead, oh, one, two. Okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, these are definitely going to be mm -hmm. uh, by two picks at least. Yeah. They are. I mean, Cause did guys, you, <laughs> do you have a high gog? I, I've got the high gog. Okay. okay. Um, wow, so, so, so you've got the high gog, the z gog. Uh, yeah, I've got the, the normal z gog. Yeah. Yeah. Now I need the akai, the sky. All the marine suits, eh? Hey? Yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so these two. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. It's cool. Cool. I, I guess the Psycho Zaku is very cool, very but cool. I'm just gonna. Th this is Silver also. Is something about Silver Bullet, man. Yeah, it's when I just. Cool design. When I was unboxing and, and I, I saw it, I'm like. And can you believe that really Bandai cool. has actually graced us, okay, with two variations as regular releases? Mm. We got the NT version and we got the normal release. Version. Yeah, mm. could be a P Bandai. Which I actually prefer. <laughs> but. but yeah, the, uh, I guess those are mine. The the Psycho Zaku, obviously, it's so cool. But I wanted to be not too uh, not too uh, thunderbolty and too basic. You know? Yeah, I'm I'm basic sometimes yeah. with this stuff. So <laughs> okay, right. So guys, let's let's pick something. Maybe a last sign off message. Yeah. What do you want to say? Oh, uh, I, I, I want to sorry before Paul goes in. I just want to say extra thanks again for Screech for doing the uh, filming again. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> for helping out. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I just want to come on this side so we can show off the, our cool Gundam new banners. banners. Yay. 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 Keep building joy and play some Zelda mm -hmm. and support local. And, oh. and happy birthday, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yay! Happy Jeff Day! <laughs> <laughs> Just keep on! Ah! Keep, One, two, keep slamming, kids! <laughs> Yay! Cheers, guys! Cheers, guys! Thank you so much for being awesome. Let me get this B roll of you <laughs> going in. I think get in there. <laughs> You should say we've got our first perfect grade, or like we've got an entire box of perfect grades. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah, actually. <laughs> okay, so um, we want to start it really big. Yeah, and uh, we, fit, you know, normally we like to bold you up, but we're gonna go straight into the juice. So follow me, and we got this box. Check this box. Look at this beautiful box. Okay. Imagine what's in it. Are they perfect grades? Are they MGXs? Let's find what? out. It's no <laughs> chain! <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's blooper reels, the 
Yes. <laughs> oh, and I also love that this artwork is done by Tenjin Hiditaka, who is one of my favorite artists. I mean, these are all, like, I think he does a lot of these digitally now, but he used to paint all of this stuff by hand. Hmm. And he, I mean, that, all the kids, is an, uh, that was also digital art, but man, he's just a master. You know the Ak guy, the Master Great Ak guy and the Master Great Zigok? He did the box art for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. I love Tenjin Hiditaka.